Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Fullcraft here with Doc from the Fullcraft server. Yes indeed, yes indeed, we are back, we are back. Man, yo, we got a heat wave going on right now in Germany. It's so hot, it's freaking hot outside and yeah, it's weekend, I definitely want to go um, to the lake a bit with my girlfriend and yo, but you have to. It's just too hot. It's insane. We're in the high 90s, um, even scratching the 100 mark uh, over the next few days here. And it's quite early in the year. It's not even June yet. And it's not very typical. I mean, yeah, summer has officially started, but to be so hot, poof, that is crazy. Also, thanks for the support on the last episode. Keep that up. I talked about the like baiting and all. Let's keep that rolling. Like, comment you know, be active, then it's more fun for both of us. You as the viewer and me as the doctor. <laughs> so, uh, last time, let's get out of here, I was just checking my energy and yeah, we, we used a little bit, so I switched on, oh god, it's night time, uh, switched on the generators, um, the chicken generators a bit to produce a bit more energy and yeah, we are looking good. Still, we have plenty, you know, we have our 9 billion or something RF stored up there. But uh, yeah, we used a little bit of it because we were running the tree eater, the beaver, and I switched it off at the moment because, yeah, huge success. Full. And if we look over here, whoa, that was some, some little lag spike there. Um, full. We have like a ton of flowering leaves, which is amazing. That means we can continue working on our tree, make it look better. And do I have a wand in here still? Yeah, yeah, probably want to use the wand. So, yeah, let's continue making our tree better and bigger. Tons of flowering leaves and also regular leaves. That, that machine we built, that was the way to go. So, yeah, definitely our treetop needs to be way bigger. And then we will start kind of creating hanging leaves. Also the bottom here. This straight line obviously looks a bit weird, but we found out that great technique last time and there were some speculations in the in the comment sections. Why why do we have this issue? You know, why what's happening? Um, and normally it's like that. Player play, uh, plays leaves, right? They get a tag so they won't despawn. And it seems if you use the wand, that is somehow not happening uh, so yeah I would say that's a flaw in the mod but yeah for us it was a good thing so yeah nothing to complain here we could use that to create the natural shapes around the tree and I'm just gonna go around put in lock pieces all over the place and then I'm going in uh, with a mix of flowering oak leaves and regular oak leaves and we just need to make the crown bigger it's not quite there yet we're getting there slightly bigger I would say and it, it'll be looking good and um, in the end I want to have this this mix between flowering leaves and regular leaves and then we'll see where it takes us and I can't get a way to get to the lake and we have beautiful lakes here in in Germany many of them around the area which you know can be used for swimming and whatnot are some natural lakes but some are also from um, you know um, yeah gravel pits pretty much where you know huge holes were dug and normally then um, when uh, the company that was digging for gravel there is done with it they just let the groundwater raise and um, yeah create lakes and there's plenty of them around here and yeah they are then turn into recreational areas which is a smart move in my opinion, you know, you don't want to have these ugly pits all over the place, right? When, um, so why not turn it into a recreational area for people? And yeah, that's that's what's happening and we're going to go one of, to one of those lakes. Um, and yeah, let's see, maybe I take my SU, what is it called, B, stand up paddling board thing with me, paddle around a bit and try to catch some sun. Also need to start tanning a little bit because in June, um, start of June, st I think starting from the 7th, 
um, me and my girlfriend are going on a vacation, but you know, something really humble and, and small. Um, it's in Spain, and with some other friends, we rented a house there, super cheap. I mean, I think the flight is 300 bucks, and for a, yeah, almost 10 days of accommodation here in this house, we only pay another 300 dollars or so. <clears throat> so, you know, not not a fancy crazy vacation or so um, just something small but simple hanging out with friends and you know surfing cooking ourselves and you know all the good stuff I enjoy that Tec typically you know I'm not a guy who needs to go to vacation all the time and go crazy but for my girlfriend it is um, kind of important um, yeah, she worked a stressful job as a journalist and she's been working mad hours over the past month. It's crazy. I mean, she leaves the house in the morning at 8 or often comes back at 9, 10 in the evening and the grind just doesn't stop. And uh, we really need to do that for her to take her mind off things a little bit. And I'm looking forward to that, you know, just having some, some downtime. I hope I can pre-produce videos for that time which is kind of difficult at the moment um, with the schedule I have going on you know because yeah we're doing the modded stuff here and then we do Hermitcraft and it's a bit hard to really pre-produce a lot for that um, and yeah because I feel it's always tricky because you know on the Hermitcraft there's stuff going on developments and so on and um, yeah, we might have to start some sort of big project and slowly work our way through it. I also thought about doing some vlogs from there, you know, maybe every other day a short vlog telling you what I'm doing. I definitely want to go to Gibraltar there as well and maybe have some, some fun stuff. Maybe we can do a cooking with dog episode from there when I try to make some paella or something. You know, uh, let me know if you would enjoy that and if you would support um, a few holiday vlogs. Otherwise, yeah, I'll probably start being concerned because I will be scared to be able to put up enough content for you guys to watch while I'm gone. That's a little bit of the downside of, you know, the YouTube life. Like, it's not as bad as if you're a live streamer. I mean, if you solidly live stream, for example, um, then you're screwed if you try to go away for a while because yeah I feel r if you live stream you really have to do it very regularly otherwise it will lead to nothing. Are you talking about the live streams real quick? A lot of people were asking Doc why don't you live stream um, anymore? Well and there is a bit of a stupid law situation I talked about it a while ago but I still get a lot of questions so for people don't uh, that don't know yet Germany there is a law situation right now going on and it's going back and forth and not fully decided yet but at the moment if you want to do live streaming in Germany and if you do it on a platform that could potentially get more than 500 viewers regularly you need a actual broadcasting license which is super expensive uh, it costs between a thousand and ten thousand euros a year right and so I started the live streaming and always had fun with it but shortly thereafter uh, when I started this whole new law situation came up and I was like dang man, that, is, that doesn't make no sense like I didn't see the live streaming as my main source of income and whatnot but you know if I yeah, start live streaming kind of regularly and then I would be forced to buy this super expensive license. I mean, then that is another cost factor, you know, and another thing that gets pushed onto you and you really, I mean, uh, you know, let's say I would potentially maybe not have to pay 10 grand, but uh, something in the area of 1, 2,000, 3,000, maybe 5,000 euros to get the stupid license. I mean, that money needs to be earned first, you know. And then I, I pay the license and then I would really be pressured to keep on live streaming, live streaming, live streaming all the time to kind of make this money back. Um, so, yeah, it's quite stupid and a bit of a stupid situation right now. And I'm still unsure how the final decision will be, but it sure doesn't look great at the moment. And this is sometimes you really think, man, Germany, what the heck are you doing? 
you know, I'm not a freaking radio show, it's a freaking live stream, and everybody can live stream, and now in Germany, all of a sudden, hey, now we need a, a broadcasting license, because, yeah, you're pretty much publicly broadcasting, yeah, that is what streaming is about, you sometimes feel these laws are really not keeping up with contemporary developments, you know, the heck, man, like, seriously, so yeah, that's the situation with the live streaming right now. I just wanted to address that one more time. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. As soon as the situation there clears up again, I will for sure would give it a shot. would be nice to be able to do some grunt work and things in the live stream, you know, and hang out a bit. I always enjoyed live streaming. It's a nice way to interact with people. Um, you can talk about... Uh, topics uh, that you would normally maybe not address in videos and you know it's in general a really nice way to bond with people I miss that these days sometimes a little bit of course you guys are active and saying stuff in the comment section but when I started in YouTube I was able to interact way more um, because there was just not such a mass of people so I'm thinking maybe I should do a discord server you know, I have it um, kind of planned. I have a Patreon. Maybe um, would you guys be down for that? Like, let's say if I do a Patreon server and uh, say, I don't know, there is a tier for it, maybe $5 tier or so a month, and then we would have a Patreon server, which I would regularly use and just hang out and, you know, we could share ideas and, you know, create a little community around that. Um, let me know what you think about that too. All right. So, um that will potentially work out. Bunch of leaves placed. Now I'm gonna start leaving this thing up and yeah, we're gonna mold it a bit further and see how it turns out. A bit of rambling here in the beginning, but you know, there is sometimes these moments where you need to address certain things and I think that's a good chance to do so right here. Alright guys, I just made two and a half stacks of luminizers. So that's the thing. And yeah, I'm trying to still make the tree look, the heck, come on, let me out, look really good. And I think we're on a good way. I grew one of those giant trees, uh, what was it again, like this, this magic uh, sacred oak. And I'm sprinkling some of the leaves in there just for a test here. You can see there's some here and yeah, all over the place. And that gives the whole thing more texture. And now I had this idea. Um, I bought all kinds of fruit trees uh, from the, what is it, trading station or whatever it's called, where you can buy the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. And now I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we somehow integrate all kinds of fruit growing in this tree as well? So, yeah, now, let's see if we can somehow make that happen. Let's say, I don't know, place a cherry tree here or whatever it is. And see if we can grow that in there somehow. Yeah, it would work, you know. And then um, we just knock out the, the wood again to the tree. And then try to blend them in like that. Say, like so. And then we had, we had fruit like that growing all over the tree. I think that would look cool. And would make this tree like this super tree, you know, like a magical tree of awesomeness, tree of life literally, you know, so yeah, I'll, I'll try if I can plant that in, don't know how well it will grow in here though, of how, how is it, if it would be, yeah, it is possible, it is definitely possible, hmm, I think that's a cool idea, right, we just need to make sure to never use silk touch here if anything otherwise we are in trouble and we will destroy the whole tree but you know and then i don't know i just go ahead with some other leaves blend that in a little bit better but yeah just having all these fruit grow here i feel is a really cool thing so i don't know let's try this guy what is that a coconut tree i see if we can grow it in here somehow yeah, look. Then, ah, oh, that's jungle leaves now, but yeah, we didn't really get coconut from it. I don't know where the coconut grows on that tree. Yeah, we were unlucky, we did. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll try to do that. 
just grow these trees in and see if you can get you know bananas and all that stuff that would be really cool i feel okay let's let's try if you we have to be a bit lucky so the trees are kind of positioned well and uh, show some some of the fruit yep there we go there we got a banana nice oh i like that that's gonna be cool and then yeah we just blend them in i need to get some more leaves we just blend them in like that um i think i would blend them in with i have a lot of flowering leaves now so let's get a few more of the the super tree leaves here okay again it also gave us some saplings um all right not the saplings we don't need them yeah and then yeah that, that's cool you know i like that okay let's get the leaves on bar so we can blend stuff in then nicely i don't know yeah this one didn't work out so well Ooh, i'm always scared to break leaves okay yeah maybe cover that then a bit like so and then we blend this in like that and we have different fruits growing in here i think that is pretty good i also need some flowering leaves to blend it in i feel so let's get some of those okay we got a stack yep man it's really fun to work on this tree i don't know it's just an enjoyable project to try to make a, a giant tree and whoop a little spike here okay Let's cover that up a bit, make it look like it belongs, like so, boom, and then we spread these fruit all over the place, here we have a random banana, <laughs> I like it, okay, yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do that and get all these fruit in there, we need some red fruit, man, let's see, let's see if we can grow one in here um apples yeah why not some apples boom uh, oh yeah there is there is some apples there all right and then we can also shear off some of the leaves or break some of those leaves and just leave the the good ones here like so maybe break that and then come in with some flowering leaves blend it in always scared to remove a leaf don't want to cre yeah create this crazy decay decay thing and yeah, lose all always everything we we placed and you know like that and eventually we have a whole lot of fruit in there yeah that's gonna be cool i'm gonna get it in on top here though let's say Is it possible to grow one here? What is that? Gooseberry, whatever it is. Boom. That might might stand out a bit too much. We might have to remove that. Try to push it down a bit. But I think if we dig these little holes, we, we can get trees to grow in here quite well. Oh god. Please no crazy decay. Yeah, I guess that works. We can blend that in. Let's see. Yeah, we can leave that dirt here. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, just bring the crown out here a little bit more. And then we should be good. Alright. I'm going to do that now for a while. Try to put all kinds of fruit in here. And then we can come in with our luminizers. And see if we can create this magical tree that grows all crops and is just crazy. <laughs> Alright, I added random fruit everywhere. At random places they are growing out like below here and up there and everywhere. There's a banana, some apples and you know. I think that's a really neat little thing. And now it's time to put, put in luminizers like so and we want to connect them so we get the sparkly effects let's see 
M to whoop whoop to dare. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be awesome. All right, I hope this turn doesn't turn into a crazy lag machine, but chances are it will. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna throw random luminizers now everywhere into the tree. Let it sparkle like that, and then we're gonna do random, random connections between luminizers. Just try, okay. Well, this is like decorating a Christmas tree with some pretty badass uh, Christmas decoration. <laughs> okay, throw one here. I don't know, just randomly spread them out. I guess I'm gonna go around in layers. And then do the lower layer here first, and then kind of work my way up, I guess. So we get somewhat of an even spread. And then have nice angles from, from everywhere when we look at the tree. Yeah, look at that. I think it's gonna look really cool during the night time as well. Okay, now let's do this higher layer here a bit. Stay, stay on top of the tree a bit. No idea if these things cause massive lag. I would imagine so in the long run if you have so many. Because, yeah, they, they might be checking for items that are around that can be transported around. But I'm not, not quite sure how that works. Okay, throw some up here. Everywhere. Yeah. That should look pretty good. And now we start to do random connections. Say from here to, to there. And then maybe this guy is connected to the one on top here. And we get these effects around the tree, shimmering, glowingness, which is really cool in my book. Okay, you are connected to here, let's say, and then we also need to do cross connections later and create this whole web of cool sparkly effects going on. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Okay. Oh man. Okay. It's cool that it kind of, you know, go through the blocks so it looks like this magical web is around the tree. We definitely need plenty below here too. Doesn't look like they're really giving off a, a light light source. I was hoping they would do, but Oh well, it's all right. Let's throw in a few here, and maybe one there, and one there. Oh yeah, it's getting a little bit dark. Forgive me, B-dubs, but I really, really want to see that, how it looks when it gets darker. Oh yeah. That looks pretty amazing. Okay. Yep. Ah, oh, look at that. That looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna web everything up, connect connect the in, um, the the sparks and you know throw all of them I have in there, and then we shall see how it looks. Oh yeah, guys. I'm loving it. Look at that. I have a feeling though. I think I had more connections made already, but I'm not quite sure. It seems there's a limit of what can be rendered. I'll try to add a, a few more connections, but I think it it looks it looks all right already, right? I mean, if you go a little bit further away, the effect goes away, and then if you come closer, the luminizers come in. And yeah, I know it's night time. I know. But I wanted to show you that thing during the night, right? I mean, that's when it shines. Really cool. Yep. Cool. I'm happy with that for today. 
I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Now I'm gonna go out and enjoy the beautiful weekend a little bit, spend some time with the lady. I mean, you know, that's important, right? And um, yeah, thanks for watching my friends. Make sure to leave a like. See you soon. I'm out. Bye guys.